the jackal showed up here where it couldn't taint. Oh, all right, here we go. All right. Uh, okay. That was great. Oh, that's not good. I don't trust you. Come back here. Get over here. Let's play chicken, bitch. Oh. Oh, there's a grenade. I didn't I pressed the button wrong. Uh -huh. Yay, it worked. We're the best. Where'd you go, buddy? Ah. Oh. We can do this. We're the best. I have no idea what I want to do next, though. Uh. Oh, there are diamonds. Sweet. Little green flashing light of happiness here. Oh, I haven't played this game in about a week, and I'm so happy to be back. Where the fuck? Okay, so it's that way. Probably in that building. Or behind it. Huh. Hey! Soccer ball! Yeah! Let's play soccer, you guys! Go! the best around hey you guys I found my diamonds yay I definitely want more diamonds in fact I think my next step should probably just be in another assassination mission so of course the closest one way north of us okay go north and we'll go over towards the bus stop and then go north clear out the, uh, I saw a nice shiny blue car somewhere. We'll clear out that save point, do a quick save a Rooney, save a Rizzy Wizzy Woo, and then, oh, fuck, shit, no, the button! And then we'll go kill random white businessman. If anybody feels this game has anything to say about uh, apartheid. Oh god! Oh, get in there! Yeah! Okay, sweet. They're down. We did it. Because. What? Oh, it's just me scraping up against it. Anyways, I wonder if this game has anything to say about apartheid, because you'll notice. Uh, except for the warlords, the main guys who are, uh, seem to be in charge seem to be some type of white Western European people. Then again, you probably can never tell just from the, uh, the accents because everybody knows, uh, the American voice actor's version of any other language or any other dialect is just a bad British accent. Dead, bro. My car needs to put the pair. What is with that? Every single movie, it's like we're from Lithuania, so we speak our perfect English with a perfect American English with a shitty British accent. You never hear British English with an American accent. It's always American English. It's always very clearly forced. I probably should have just stuck to the road because there's very clearly a path here. Oh, I'm gonna see if I can't sneak. Might have gotten too too close already. But uh, wish there was a back way to sneak in here. Oh, they already know I'm here. Ugh. Ooh. 
shotguns and heavy machine guns. Hey! Two down, sweet. Are they dead dead? Yep, they're dead dead. Beautiful. Awesome, 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 awesome. Huh. So there's a back area over here with nothing to pick up. Appreciate the detail, don't appreciate the lack of a collectible here. Fuck it. America. So now, this is... This is annoying here. Um, if you notice, down at the bottom, it's got our main happy guy, Mr. Singh, and he's alive. And our uh, secondary buddy, uh, Miss Guillen, who is just alive. If... Um, uh, in order for her to pick me up, she has to be rescue ready. Which means that I have to find her at a safe house somewhere. And I believe it's a safe house I've already unlocked, so unlocking a new safe house isn't going to help me with that. But basically, she won't pick me up until, she, until I meet her somewhere and she said she's good to go. So, basically, I have one life until I can find her. That's not the biggest deal in the world, but... It uh, could lead to problems if I get run over by a random car or blah, blah, blah. Anyways. That's... Whoa! That's all momentum. That's uh, no gas there. It's uh, slightly nerve-wracking. Alright, so... Yep, here we go. Just gotta keep heading north. And we will find the people. Well, we'll find the cell phone tower. Another thing that uh, kind of broke the uh, immersion in this game for me was the... Uh, oh, is that a car? No, just some random shit. The pe every time you get the cell phone tower message, it's the exact same message and it's the exact same... Uh-oh. Uh no, that's behind... No, 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 no! One down, two down, okay. And now my car needs a repair again, so screw it, I'm gonna take theirs. Anyways, it's the exact same message, so if you do a bunch of them in a row, it gets super noticeable super quickly. Which... can definitely break the immersion. At least... Eh. I kind of see what they were getting at by constantly making you run into enemies and patrols and everybody being, you know, shooting at you and whatnot. And... I kind of get it, but they just didn't implement it well enough. Come on, die. Pretty sure you're dead. Yeah, there definitely needed to be more exposition and more story elements to this game. And I think it definitely would have rounded out everybody's experience of it. And, oh, where did you come from? Now you're dead. Anyways, I think it would have given this game a much more... Yeah, there we go. It would have given this game a much more favorable uh, review. Um because people would have found a reason besides everybody hates you. And the missions don't really tell a connected story. Like, everything's connected, obviously. I'm not going to sit here and talk out my ass like that. Everything's connected, and there's definitely a story that's involved in everything. Um, however, right... The story seems to be inserted in main missions that come up in between all the mission missions, which feel like side missions. So like the last one, nothing's going to come of that. All those paratroopers I killed, that's not going to change anything about the world. No. Alright, here we go. Whee! It's hurt my legs. Yep. It's all good. Nobody had to die. Where are we going? 
Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Shit. Again? Is it moving? Is that a caravan? Ah! Okay. I have a feeling driving there is going to be the absolute quickest way to get there, and that's going to get... Okay. Back the way we came, and then go south along the road. Well, at least I'll run through a thousand checkpoints full of exactly three to seven dudes every time. I don't know if that's a limitation of the game engine or what, but you never seem to run into... I mean, in the story missions you run into a lot more, but at outposts you never run into large forces. You know what I mean? And if you do, they're spread across a wide enough area that they kind of trickle in maybe two or three at a time at the, at the most. Uh, but I've never seen more than, I'd say, maybe four dudes on screen at once outside the main towns. Oh, fuck, shit. Oh, 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 God. Oh, they're shooting. Oh, God, shit's going down. Oh, learn to drive better. Oh, no. No, the pain. Oh, God. Also, I need to heal myself. <laughs> Shit. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, just one guy, though? Hey, thanks for the car, buddy. Good night, sweet prince! I'll run you over with your own car. Yeah. Teach you a lesson. Well, at least we haven't been brutally murdered yet. No attacks there, that's good. Oh, and of course there'd be a car, so here we go. Sweet, without them firing a shot. You'd think they would have seen me. And then seen the lights suddenly turn off on the vehicle and then decided something was amiss. But no, it only took 8,000 rounds to each of them to alert them to my presence. It's cool though, it's cool. I win. <laughs> as long as I win, the fucking world is a better place. Okay, any flashing, the flashing's going down. So. I'm assuming it's down there, near or around the water. Where are you? Where are you? Hope y'all aren't watching this with motion sickness. Oh, yeah, I was right, yeah. 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 That's not blatant or anything. Thanks for the ammo, bros. Bros keys. Bro dizzles. Bro diggle doggles. Hey. Every bit helps. They talk like there is a very thinly veiled civil war going on here. Um, and apparently the peace is just barely kept. Which is weird because it seems like every time I go, ooh, ooh, we're gonna hit it with the car. Yeah! Will the beast ass. <laughs> Anyways, they they hint at a civil war that is very, very clandestinely happening underneath. Uh, What's the word I'm looking for? Underneath a very... Damn it! Uh, a very fragile truce, or peace treaty, or ceasefire. Um, and that kind of makes sense that everybody's holding down these super militarized checkpoints and whatnot. And they're basically attacking anybody armed, i.e. me, who's moving around the uh, country on site. It makes sense. Uh, 
And they're definitely in a convoy. Oh, Jesus. Where are they convoying to? They're going to drive up here. I can cut them off and shoot them up. This feels like this feels like a like an arms dealer mission, and not a uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh, your car's already fucked up, bro. I'm gonna get fucking destroyed here. If I'm not quick, uh, at least I have infinite ammo. Let's go look at this guy. This might be a mistake. Cool. Okay, where'd he run to? Oh, he's fucking running. <laughs> You know what? You're shooting at me with a pistol. I'll shoot at you with a pistol. Look at this! Look at this white business suit man run. Oh, that's all it took. <laughs> An instant money, ladies and gents. That's how you do it. Shot him right in the ass. I wonder if he's still like barely alive or if he's dead, dead. Damn. He uh. You did not go peacefully into the night. But, uh, yeah. Race issues, you guys. Super serious. Here. Let's give you a Viking funeral pyre, buddy. Most honorable European gentleman. Oh, and there's still one guy left. I don't think he knows where I am, either. Ooh, let's sneak up on him. Feels so much like a. Oh. What? What? What the fuck was that? I felt like a velociraptor and then he started shooting at me through his face from behind. What skills? Oh, that's, uh. That's kind of brutal. That's, uh. Ladies and gents, if the kids are watching. <laughs> Don't let them. Well, that went well. Ow. Sweet. Okay. Ah. You know what? Damn it. Fucking map. I'm feeling another one, and there's one close, so. Cool. Cool, cool. Let's do it. No, oh, that's, uh, that's not what I wanted. Friggin' gorgeous. I like the look and feel of this game a little bit more than Far Cry 3, but the gameplay in Far Cry 3 was definitely... My car's in a ditch. The gameplay in Far Cry 3 was definitely cut above uh, customization options as well, but... Screw it. I'm not playing this game for customization options. If I were playing it for a thing, it would be the super interesting setting. Wish they could have elaborated more on the actual setting, however, but... Beggars can't be choosers. This is what we got, and it was really good. And it was good enough to spawn a sequel that everybody freaking loved, so... Is that a thing? Far Cry 3 is more or less universally liked by everybody, right? I mean, it de they definitely took it in a really cool, really interesting direction. Oh, there's a car. And now they know I'm here. So now they're going to come after me. And I'm going to take your car, bros. Swoo! What did you get for trying to run me over, you idiot? Anyways. So, Far Cry 3, yeah, they really took that in an interesting direction, and I really liked the story bits. I liked how you started off as this dumbass, super cliche bro kid, and then you start killing people, 
And then you start, you know, finding out you like killing people. And people are pushing you to kill more and more people. And your overall... What's the fucking word I'm looking for? Your overall objective seems to warp towards the end of the game. It started off as getting your friends off the island and leaving with them, and then it turns into, you know, you becoming a warrior and blah, 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 blah. Anyways, they did a really good job. I really liked it. Um, and junk. Ha, ha, ha. Damn it, and that one's all the way over where the other fuck... Motherfucker. Okay. All right. Let's fucking kill this guy. Let's look at the map again. Hope you guys don't hate the whole map thing, because it's really helpful. Where's the road? Ha uh, oh, there's the road. Got it. And we gotta go down. Here we go. Whee! And now there's a car chasing me. So we'll just, you know, very quickly take care of that. gotta hurt. It's, uh, definitely can't be, uh, definitely can't be the best feeling in the world. Wouldn't want to take a bunch of 556 five, rounds to the face. I don't know about y'all. All right. Back the way we came. You know, I consider this a very good looking game. Where is this thing? But, uh... Does anybody feel like this is starting to look really, really, you know, samey? feel like it's starting to look really samey. Then again, we have been spending a lot of time just in the savannah, so... There are, you know, the jungle environments, and there's a desert uh, to the south, and blah, blah, blah. Uh, there's an actual mountain. Well, let's take a look for this thing. Yeah, that mountain up there in the northwest. I don't think you can climb it. Um, I know there's a uh, there's a big mission up there, um, right there where you see that that river snaking around to the top of it. There's a pretty big mission up there, uh, so we'll definitely be getting. Oh, god damn it! Are you standing on your car shooting at me? Oh, you're uh, you're pushing the. Oh my god! Oh, oh. Having a seizure? Hey! One and done. Yay, fun times. Okay, anyways, we'll get to go up the mountain, but we don't get to go to the top of the mountain as far as I know. As far as I know, that doesn't mean we don't get to, that just means I've never found a path. I'm sure there's nothing up there, except, you know, maybe one diamond. <laughs> What's up there? A little house on the map. Screw it. No time. We must make learning. With bullet guns. Hey, another patrol. How expected. Well, uh, it ended very badly for them. I feel like if I was going to go on a patrol around here and I knew there was some crazy guy driving around shooting literally everybody, I would probably want to go out with more than two people because uh, that doesn't seem to be working out too well for these guys at all. Oh damn, he's up there in Mokuba. Okay. Is that the name? Mokuba? Mokuba. Mokuba. It means Japanese sword. Sorry, best friends play. <laughs> Good Let's Players, if you guys haven't seen uh, any of the two best friends play shit, I'd highly recommend it. They're uh, probably one of the reasons I started doing Let's Plays. Does he see me? Yep, he sees me. I mean, he's, he's dead now, so... Uh, 
All right. Whoop. Your gunfire. Oh, he was on a mounted machine gun too. That could have ended badly for me. Oh, two dudes! No! Don't reload! Shoot him! You don't have to reload to shoot the bullets. Man, where the fuck is he running to? He is hurt. Oh, he's not dead either! And he's got a shotgun and I'm really close to him. Okay. Alright, alright. Now, next time. Sweet. And I'm down to 12 rounds. So. I'm surprised that didn't set the grass on fire there. Probably a good distraction though, right? God damn it, I'm out of fuck shit. Damn it. Okay. And now everything's exploding. Jesus. This is uh stealth maximum. He's running around. He's scared. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, let's uh let's heal up first. And then go and deal with Oh, what? Oh, shit. Oh, this is... This is not good. Not good. Gotta take care of these guys quick. Oh, my God. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. Oh. Oh. Oh, shit. Run away, you guys. Just run. Just hide. Okay, I know there's ammo somewhere. Shit, there's ammo all the way over there. Well, this could have gone better. Hear old boy shooting at me with his pistol. Where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? Right in front of me. Sweet. Let's take care of this. I like that they always give you enough ammo to fill your weapon and fill your bandoliers. It's good. It's good design. I like it. So now we can go take care of those assholes. That was a rocket. That that could have ended very poorly. That whole area I was at is still on fire. And I don't think they know where I am. So maybe we can uh, get up to old boy and... Uh, Take him out before getting rushed by the entire friggin' army. That would be nice, right? Right? Alright. This, this house. Uh, yeah, no problem. No. Yes! Yes! Let's save. I don't want it, the rocket guy to know I'm here and just shoot the rocket at me. That would that would suck. That would suck super hard. That's, uh... Not how I want to end this play- Oh! No! Oh, no! Oh, oh! They're shooting behind us again. And just random explosions fucking everywhere. Everything is on fire! Every- Gee- Ah! Uh, I don't like this. Did we at least take out Rocket Bro? He was up here. Yeah, he's dead. Jesus. That was, uh, that was harrowing. God. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Now please subscribe to my channel. Here we do full playthroughs of some of our favorite and most hated games. We do cool one-offs like Complete Idiots Play and Spoiler Alert. And every now and then you can catch us on the weekends for some awesome multiplayer games with our best friends the Wonder Pets. I hope you guys like all the new episodes we have coming out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Uh, please subscribe so that you can check out all the new content as it comes out. And we'll see you next time.